The guest for today is the super talented, most energetic, ever smiling and the most intellectual artist, anchor and now turned into a writer. None other than the lady herself, Anu Hassan. So I'm sure you would have heard the intro. We did say that you're super energetic, always ever smiling, and definitely the most intellectual Woo. artist in the Tamil this industry. Like that setting is, me up. <laughs> no, setting I'm not. <laughs> So how how what is the formula for always smiling and how how do you get that confident look always See I don't know whether I've got a confident look The way I look at it is I have a lot to be grateful for mm -hmm. in life in general I think there's a lot that I have to be grateful for I'm not saying I haven't had problems I haven't I mean I'm not saying I don't ha I haven't had slaps in my face I have had that But when you look at it and you put it on a balance somehow the good things seem to outweigh the bad mm -hmm. and the bad seems to have happened for a good reason mm -hmm. so i think i'm genetically programmed to look at what is good and that i think reflects on my face okay that's, that's so it, it is always the way you see life isn't it yes so, it's the way your belief and your value systems and your faith uh, and the belief that the universe is a benevolent one and mm -hmm. And there you go. Yeah. So that is what you should do. Probably believe that the universe is a happy place. Maybe it is. It is. And Sandosh Manu is the last one. Don't put me such a tricking. I have been told. And at Chennai, I saw a mom get an idea. I'm going to do a lot of fun. I read the drama. I'm not funny. I'm not. That drama. That character. So letting. That drama. That book. Look, I read it. But now that Nariya was doing. But that was justified because I used to be doing all kinds of things that I shouldn't be doing. and the best thing was it was never that you're a girl so you shouldn't be doing it mm -hmm. adukare ad it's not the right thing to do so you shouldn't be doing it now less spanking so i should run 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 with the table screaming i will never do it again inime panna matte ma then run up the stairs all that so it's like quite a lot of drama that i used to do uh, but as a child i think and even as a, an adult kanla easy anak thanni vandru mm takku -hmm. i get moved easily i get upset easily and i also recover easily is that because you're a very emotional person or is it because i'm a very transparent person okay. i also don't feel um, embarrassed about showing my emotions being angry or sad or, or sad happy or, or you know i've actually cried on camera mm -hmm. i've had tears on camera and there is actually a, an episode of coffee when i say cut 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 because mm -hmm. i am unable to control my emotion it's not that i'm embarrassed the camera is seeing it but i'm unable to control my emotion and move forward move forward so yeah. i so that's the reason i would say i don't want people to see it because it's boring for someone to see people, see people someone going on and, yeah. like that yeah. but i think it is real for a person to have emotions mm -hmm. and i'm an open person so yeah so okay when it comes to fashion uh, <laughs> it has always been like your your fashion statement has always been feel comfortable and look happy yeah so have you ever had the pressure of wearing skimpy clothes and trying to <laughs> do i have the body to wear skimpy clothes first of all no <laughs> okay but has <laughs> it ever been a pressure for you that no probably i should look more i don't i don't know See, i've it? always wanted to look more well turned out than i normally am okay okay but somehow every time i try to make that effort i feel like a fraud mm -hmm. um so i end up wearing neat clothes which is comfortable which is comfortable yeah. and uh, so i feel okay with it mm -hmm. but of course when you have to go for functions and programs mm -hmm. and filming then that's an image that yeah. you have to have so that is an image yeah. which i don't associate with anu the person yeah. anu the anchor has to look away anu the actress has to look one way but if you want to talk to anu the person this, this is, is it you are, definitely so yeah and when it comes to anu the person uh, you were anuradha c yeah. if i'm not wrong and then when did it change to anu hasan and how did it happen i very stubbornly stuck to anuradha c for mm -hmm. a very long time uh, because as a child i used to um, want an identity of my own i didn't want to be kamal hasan's niece suhasini's um, cousin So I wanted to be Anu. So my name is Anuradha, and I kept doing that. And then when I went to Bits Pilani, 
my brother had already already been to bitspilani mm-hmm. which is the engineering college in india and i had gone there and they said you are nirmal hasan's sister i said yeah and what's your name anuradha c so they said no anu you are anu hasan that's that's that, how anu hasan started okay it was in bitspilani that the name got so created so it was not because of media that the name no. got created it was in fact in indra my name would be anuradha hasan anuradha hasan that's it right. won't be anu hasan yeah it's just that afterwards everyone started calling me anu hasan yeah. so and it's easier shorter, shorter. so it's yeah. it's always good well you did mention about bits so mm. definitely you've 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 had a very good background in education you've done a, a lot of that <laughs> well has it <laughs> ever helped you in front of camera do you think education helps in front of camera it certainly does because it depends on what you qualify as education mm mm-hmm. education is not something you get from a book yeah education is being able to interact with a wide um group of people mm-hmm. being able to relate to them being able to survive in different situations being able to handle problems being able to face life yeah so i think i got all that from bitspilani mm-hmm. innately yes i am a survivor but for a survivor when you keep getting tools to you know flourish you tend to use it easily yeah so Bits Pilani was one such tool that I got and okay. one of the most valuable tools that I would say that was given to me. So what was your reaction when you first faced camera because I don't think it was planned. You didn't want to become an actress or you didn't want to face camera. So what was the reaction that when you first faced camera when you were confused were you happy? I don't know because I didn't look at it as facing the camera. Mm-hmm. I looked at it as doing a project for Suhasini. Okay. and i've acted on stage before so acting is something that never was a challenge i mean i'm not being arrogant but it just wasn't a challenge it was a part of it it was like something i did and i enjoyed doing it so i did it i have never been conscious of the camera except on two occasions one was after i'd done indra someone who had worked with indra came and told me you know what Don't smile so much. That mm. wide smile of yours, it's not looking nice on camera. No, they were wrong. <laughs> so, and the thing is, can you imagine? I was like 24 at that time, and so, and I had no illusions about my looks. I know I'm not some great, you know, uh, Cleopatra. And I've gone and I've done a project, and then someone comes and tells me, "Don't do this." So I got a little conscious mm-hmm. about it. And then my innate uh, characteristic took over. This is me. You don't like it, not my problem, ma. You don't That's like it, it, don't watch it. <laughs> it's not my problem. Yeah. So I was conscious of that. The other one was during coffee with Anu. Mm-hmm. See, I've never claimed to be slim and svelte and sexy and yet. Yeah. Right. And it has never been my interest. I've yeah. always wanted to be fit, athletic, sporty, and neat. Mm-hmm. You know, those were the adjectives I've always wanted to win in terms of in terms of appearance. Yeah. So um, and. when you before the camera they want you to wear certain colors and certain Definitely. kinds of clothes and i never i was like okay whatever you give me i'll wear yeah and somebody comes on the show and the first statement he makes mm-hmm. is in the skirt and blouse la potu tukinga neenga romba slim ah alagun nenappa he said this okay? okay and my instant response was ama sir neenga romba buddhisali nu ungalku nenappa okay am i told you you actually say that in front of camera no, no. and i was very hurt because there was no reason for him to be insulting exactly me, right? i mean i th- i think uh, it, it is you you're carrying yourself and you're wearing what you want to wear so you know, I, i don't think it's somebody else's you know yeah. job to comment on it and the thing is it's not as if i am there for a fashion parade i'm there yeah. to interview you so you tell me my questions are stupid i agree i agree yeah. okay i will change it but you can't tell me that i look fat mm-hmm. okay so i was very upset but i turned it into a personal triumph because I said that, which I felt I needn't have, yeah. you know, hit him back like that. Mm-hmm. But that's my innate need to yeah. hit back. I've done it. I went back to my room and I cried. Mm-hmm. I cried, and then I said, "Now I'll do one of the best shows that I've ever done." I went. You couldn't make out that I was upset with him. I made him a star on the show, and I thought that was the best revenge that I could get. Yeah, that definitely. we spoke about fitness so fitness abdina sonna enakku or naalu vaartha ungala patti thonudhu basketball yes kallari yes bharatanatyam dance carnatic music idella eppadi or combination ah 
உங்களால பண்ண முடியுது ஆ டு பி ஆனஸ்ட் அதெல்லாம் டிஃபரெண்ட் ஃபேजेस ஆஃப் லைஃப்ல ஓகே அண்ட் அதனால இப்போ வந்து கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் தான் ஐ அம் ஏபிள் டு டு a little bit of both for mm-hmm. instance இப்போ ரீசன்ட்லி ஐ பிளேட் வித் தி ஹாம்ஷயர் டீம் பாஸ்கெட்பால் டீம் ஐ மெஸ்ட் அப் மை knee பட் பட் இட் வாஸ் வர்த் வர்த் இட் बिकॉज எனக்கு வந்து ஐ லவ் பாஸ்கெட்பால் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் லவ் இட் um i'm thinking of uh, starting to play cricket kalari mm-hmm. vande i liked it mainly because at that point uh, i was just um looking for something more for my fitness routine okay other than just my Running. sprinting mm-hmm. my plyometric workouts and my uh, interval training adala irukirathu i said i want to learn something mm-hmm. <clears throat> so kalari happened i love kalari because kalari is a lot like bharatanatyam yeah okay it, i loved it, it bharatanatyam it needs a bit of grace as well yeah. isn't it coloring and it's also low yeah okay and it's it's that that posture is mm-hmm. very similar to bharatanatyam posture mm-hmm. so uh, and uh, so that that's how kalari happened bharatanatyam i haven't danced bharatanatyam since 1990 okay okay a uh, 90 ka apra nanu or just a one or two steps i might okay. have done but i haven't done but i do love bharatanatyam, bharatanatyam. as such um and and the last one you said was carnatic music carnatic music adu vandu fitness la varadu vocal cord fitness nu vechukanga but actually it's a very interesting story sinna chinna vayasla nan i used to sing a lot of western songs mm-hmm. so one of my aunts looked at it and said oh look radha they call me radha too evlo nalla paadra you must train her in carnatic music okay ha okay okay my mother put me in carnatic music class adu varaikku i was singing all adukapra enoda teacher vandu nalla vaai therndu paadu maannaru ஓகே அது வரைக்கும் ஒழுங்கா பாடிட்டு இருந்த குழந்தை அதாவது அது வரைக்கும் நான் சரே கமா பாடிட்டு இருந்தேன் அவர் சொன்ன சாரே கமான்னு பாட ஆரம்பிச்சேன் அம்மா வந்து ஐயோ இது வரைக்கும் ஒழுங்கா பாடிட்டு இருந்துச்சு குழந்தை என்ன இப்படி பாடுது ஐயோ வேண்டாம் Sorry, uh, we've been speaking about various uh, things, but then uh, there, was, there was one thing that I have always you know, thought it is amazing, mm. especially இப்போ in the last couple of years, you've, you've been over here, you've moved to London, how do you do so many things like you're an entrepreneur you uh, have been doing a lot of movies here and there you are doing a show in the uk as well it's a on soap bbc in, on yeah. bbc and then you also do a couple of voice artist and other tabra host panvenga show and also more than doing a lot of things it's doing a lot of things in two different countries and two different countries which are not neighbor countries like how do you manage traveling from india to london london chennai london chennai and that how do you zap between the cultural and the various things that you do i don't know i think because i'm a misfit everywhere it doesn't matter <laughs> okay. right i don't really belong in humility you're not <laughs> a misfit anywhere no. misfit na epdi na okay am i a traditional tamil woman Mm-hmm. no not in my appearance not in my life choices mm-hmm. not in my approach to life okay fine am i a typical western woman no i am somewhere in between therefore yeah. i don't actually fit anywhere more importantly i've never wanted to fit anywhere okay. so i'm very comfortable i felt the need to conform to a particular society that's when it puts pressure on me i okay. didn't feel the need to conform mm-hmm. nor did i feel the need to be the representative woman from tamil nadu okay because that's where i've seen a lot of people go overboard mm-hmm. in their tamilness in their you know they yeah. they lose gender, real yeah. reality you know and you don't need to prove anything mm-hmm. to anybody so that is a basic belief that i have mm-hmm. <clears throat> having said that if i got get the opportunity to try something new i will mm-hmm. for instance bbc eastenders uh, happened after i got the opportunity to work with russell davies okay so russell davies is the gentleman who turned around for the audience the one who turned around doctor who mm-hmm. so um in cucumber i got this role okay and that was a fabulous role and i did that role and then it got me the opportunity in east enders so okay. it's like i got an opportunity i grabbed it and i was lucky enough to get another so mm-hmm. that's how i do the acting in english okay in uh, tamil i've continued my film valadesam so your your move has not really uh, you know reduced the number it has. of okay no i would be less than honest if i didn't say it has because logistically speaking it's impossible to run a television show being based, being in, based the UK. in the uk yeah logistically it's just it's not possible not, yeah so uh, yes definitely my television appearances has slowed down but oddly enough my movie appearances have uh, increased increased because 
I have done two projects where I literally play the lead. Okay. So one is Valadesam, Valadesam. and the other is Aki. Both are waiting mm-hmm. for release. Mm-hmm. So that happens. And my book, of course, got published and I recently got my e-book out on mm-hmm. Amazon worldwide. Mm-hmm. So that is done. So when I get the time, I just do it. And uh, I work for a company called Ivy Mobility and I uh, head their business for UK and Europe. Mm-hmm. So I do that as well. You do what you can. Yeah. <laughs> But how can you do so many things? That was the whole question. I mean, it, and I think what amazes me is that it is in two different cultures. It's in two different countries and you do have to travel a lot. I do. So how, how do you zap and don't you get jet lagged and tired and... how do you do that no it's very simple i don't get jet lag in india on the anjara manner than i so i don't want i'll do is i'll take the flight i'll land at 8 o'clock in the morning sleep 3 hours and, and then start your work start my day when i come back i'll reach at the mm-hmm. night night flight i come straight away go to bed and next day i hit the road running so okay. it's so really it's, easy it's, it's, Well, maybe it is really easy because she does it and then she says it's really easy about how she can do everything and she always has this attitude of why not and I'm happy doing what I'm doing. So I'm I'm definitely sure it it is something that all our audience need to take to uh, make their life more happier I guess because um, de- definitely if if you're forced to do something you can either do it or not do it instead of do it and crib or not do it and regret. So that is something that I kind of came across when i was uh, speaking to you so it was it was it was amazing the first segment but the second segment is is more fun it's it's like a small game and uh, i'm i'm sure you're used to games and <laughs> <laughs> okay well my game is pretty much stolen from your show okay. but then um, i'm just going to give you a word and you just have to quickly say whatever that yeah. you think about it so right. it could be an incident or it could be um, just another word or it could be so- something that is related to somewhere okay. so The first one is Scorpio. Love of my life. <laughs> I think we need to tell a bit more right, to the audience because obviously everybody will be like who the hell is Scorpio? Who is the Scorpio? Scorpio in her who's life? Who is the Scorpio in her life? Yeah, so yeah. May- maybe it's her husband who is the Scorpio in her life. So um, Scorpio, Scorpio dark handsome really big it's manufactured by Mahindra and Mahindra. It's an <laughs> SUV in India. My absolute absolute first love because I <laughs> I have had some wonderful moments driving down East Coast Road um going on solo picnics going for long drives mm-hmm. uh, yeah wonderful It's memories wonderful memories and then um I have read your book obviously which is pretty much you yes. <laughs> the book is all about you so adla unda or chapter la you've said ponna kalyana panni kudukra mari scorpio vitta nanu adine soli so i was I, i mean when i read that i had tears in my <laughs> i was like you pa ivlo aasaya vechirundaangala adine soli ye ye avlo or attachment and it is actually something it was a significant it was symbolic that's mm-hmm. what i realized later because i am not someone who is attached to my possessions tholinju pochina tholinju pochi odinju pochi odinju pochi poidcha okay i am like that but why was it the scorpio why was i so attached to it because first of all it was the very f- first thing that i bought when i became financially independent after my divorce mm-hmm. so there's that emotional attachment to it it's something that i owned it also symbolized my freedom mm-hmm. it symbolized my ability to go where i want do what i want when i want mm mm-hmm. So I think somewhere in my subconscious giving it away had a little fear am I also giving away that mm-hmm. what it represented yeah and it wasn't that okay. I mean once I gave it away I realized it wasn't that but I respect the scorpio for what it has given to me in mm-hmm. my life mm-hmm. so I took really good care of it and I made and sure that it you went. made sure it went to a very good home good family yes <laughs> good family <laughs> <laughs> lovely so um my next word is going to be something that everybody love food my nemesis <laughs> okay food is my nemesis because i love food and the thing is i love food so much that i cook food i love my cooking i eat my food yeah. okay, okay i have no qualms about saying oh it's yummy my cousin nancy as in nandini who lives here in the uk mm-hmm. she's a doctor and i'll cook for her and i'll before she can taste it and say it's great i'll say oh, oh nancy it's yummy i yeah, love this it this is the best thing you can have yeah. and she say radha that's very humble isn't it so, <laughs> So yes, very sarcastic <laughs> and lots of happy memories with food lovely so the next one is going to be something special i'm thinking mm-hmm. boats and water and boat riding yeah mudale uh, arkupam mm-hmm. so uh, when you say boat i immediately think of canoe and remember me doing these canoe trips in mudale arkupam which is uh, 
a resort run by the Tamil Nadu Tourism Development yeah. Corporation. It's just on ECR. Isn't ECR just shot up Pondicherry. Mm-hmm. It's a very nice place. And Perumal, I, I'll always remember Perumal. <laughs> Perumal is a guy who works there. And I'm very fond of him. Mm-hmm. And all of them who work there are the people who belong to the local um, area. Mm-hmm. Very warm, very friendly. So when you say water, boats, I remember that. And automatically brings a smile brings to your face. Brings a smile to your face, definitely. The next one is punctuality, timekeeping. <laughs> uh, that's what people hate me most for. <laughs> <laughs> Because when you say time, I'm invariably on time. And if I'm not on time, I would have told you mm-hmm. that... you know hello i'm going to be 5 minutes late so and uh, sometimes i think people feel i give punctuality too much importance mm-hmm. but i do believe that you remember you asked me how do you do all the things that you do it's because i schedule myself i time myself i yeah. make sure that i have to do this i have to finish it by that time and then after that i have to move on to the next one mm-hmm. so being punctual helps me do that compartmentalizing my activities helps me focus on what i'm doing at that point mm-hmm. so Kamal Hassan uncle that's it <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you expect me to say he is a Kamal Hassan what do you get first uncle uncle <laughs> wonderful when i say shruti hassan niece no, cousin <laughs> cousin yeah. Oh, yeah okay um the next word is uh, going to be tamil okay um integral part of me mm-hmm. uh and uh, also something that i have been picked up for mm-hmm. in fact even in coffee with anu they'll say ennanga epo pudalu english le pesittirukinga nariya tamil le pesa matengireenga appdinu oru comment varum ana ungaloda tamil ucharippu romba nalla irukku appdinu appdinu varum adhe epdi rendu opposite ana comment varum adukku dhaan naan nenchiten inu feedback alla appapo vandu theviyana da eduthukonu applicable a irundhuchuna eduthukonga if it's going to improve you take it if it is doesn't make sense leave it just leave just the last word um it's not a word it's going to be a sentence dark is beautiful it is so is that all you have to it say it is because i am so fed up of people especially in india mm-hmm. trying to say especially with women mm-hmm. only if you're fair you're beautiful ella fair i've had producers and directors coming in madam konju brighten panikala ma face enna ga appo idha brown da nan en color avladha abdin so i really i'm part of that campaign yeah. for women of worth where i say come on don't expect people you don't expect a zebra mm-hmm. to change its stripes or a leopard to change its spots why do you want me to change my color yeah so it is beautiful everyone is beautiful in their own way definitely like christina aguilera said yes you are beautiful it is coming to an end uh, it was wonderful and i've always always looked up um, on your shows and uh, you. the way you present and the way you comfortably more more often just listen to you thank you uh, just before you go just Two, three more things that i wanted to ask sunny side up valladesam and east enders these are the things that you're currently working on and yes. uh, coming up projects so what do you have to say about mm-hmm. east enders is a project that i'm working on um, everyone knows east enders i'm i play fatima in the mom mm-hmm. and um, i'm i'm really really delighted in fact i joke about it saying that who is the international star in the family i am the international star <laughs> okay definitely so, so yeah i mean i like i mean actually i've even recently directed an english uh, commercial for american mm-hmm. television mm-hmm. so adanal i am also the international director in the family yeah. i am the international actor <laughs> in, in the, the family, family. everything yeah. so, <laughs> and you host a lot of shows over here so you're international host i don't host maybe? shows here oh, no okay. no i don't host shows here um but i am working on television projects okay So yes so that's that's about BBC and about Valadesam Valadesam was primarily shot in the UK so that's a Tamil uh, movie waiting for release we just did the audio launch for which mm-hmm. uh, Mr Kamal Hasan was there mm-hmm. uh, so um, it's one of my one of the projects that's very close to my heart because okay. it's a fabulous role okay and it really breaks all stereotypes of Anu Hasan in the sense If you look at the poster I'm carrying a gun. Gun. Which, which is not normally you. You're normally very smiling. Uh, well actually my friend said now the real Anu Hasan is coming is out. So yeah. So that's and that. And when is it releasing? Uh, well we are hoping to get it released within the next couple of okay. months. And so, I'm hoping it will be released in the UK as well. Yeah yeah yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah that's that's on the cards. And of course Sunny Side Up is my pet pet project because it's my book. Um it's been published in India by Harper Collins and mm-hmm. it's also 
out on the ebook format. Lovely. So um, anybody on, anywhere can actually read yes. it. So it's on Amazon. I have Amazon. already read it and it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's it's on Amazon so it's available worldwide. So anyone watching this show, I'd be really happy if you feel like getting a book, but more importantly, if you read it and if you can relate to it and write back to me, the email address is there so Yes, yes definitely. so I'll have that. In fact, I have a copy for you, so I'll give it to you before you Thank go. Thank you. That's really nice. And the last thing, what would be your one secret tip that you would want to share with people who want to do different things and want to just be happy with what they're doing? So if you ask me what is the tip that I would give to someone who wants to try something different, get rid of fear. Get rid of the fear of failure. It doesn't matter. You know, life is like boxing. You don't fail when you fall down. You fail when you fail to get up. All the best.